Let's go to number 619. In following in person, this is an easy question. Let's get into it. You are given data structure of employee information, which include an employee unique ID, his importance value, and his direct subordinates ID. For example, employee 1 is leader of employee 2, and employee 2 is leader of employee 3. They have important value is 15, 10, and 5, respectively. Then employee 1 has a data structure like 1, 15, 2, and employee 2 has 2, 10, 3, and employee 3 has 3, 5. Note that although employee 3 is also a subordinate of employee 1, the relationship is not direct. Now, given the employee information of a company and an employee ID, you need to return the total importance and value of this employee and all his subordinates. Let's check example 1. Okay, there are three employees. Uh, this is ID 1 and then ID 2 and ID 3. And the ID 1 value is 5 and he has two subordinates. And uh, employee 2 value is 3, but uh, he has no subordinates. And uh, employee 3 value is 3, and he has no subordinate. So let's check with uh, employee 1. So employee 1 value 5, and then he, uh, he has two subordinates. So first his value is 3. And then 3 value is 3. So total 11. How you can solve it? <clears throat> yes. First, reduce time complexity. Uh, I'm gonna use the map. So map key is ID of employee and the value is object of employee. So first I will find the ID from the employee uh, data structure and then uh, the add the value and then append to his subordinate to the queue. It's quite similar of the level order. Okay, let's implement. First, I will do edge case. I will do avoid edge case if employees is empty list. Then I return zero, and then okay, I will importance. I make importance variable to return, and then I need map to find employee object from ID and then last I need to queue I will collection the queue and then I will append ID and then while queue is empty I will uh, get subordinate employee from map id id is q pop left and then let's fill the map for employee in employees and then map ID is employee object. Did it make sense? And then I will add importance employee importance. And then I will add subordinates to the queue so for subordinate in 
current employees. So, so the limit and so and then I will queue append. So don't no permit. Does it make sense? Then I will return in protest. Okay, let's test the code. Okay, looks good. In this case, time complexity is we just use same uh, same length of employee. So it takes linear time with linear space because we use map and queue. Thank you.